This ice is from the Viking Age, around the year 1000, also called the medieval warm period. We believe that in Greenland, the medieval warm period was about one and a half degrees warmer on average than, than today. Here we have our picture of the temperature reconstructions that we have from Greenland in a graphical form. And if we go back along this axis, it's going back in time. This is the last 8,000 years we have plotted here. On this axis, we have the temperatures at the site in, in Greenland, and we can see that if we go back from now, about 4,000 years ago, we would have temperatures up here for about 4,000 years that were two and a half degrees warmer on average than today. Now, as we go approach our time, we can see that in the period between 4,000 years ago and back to the period 2,000 years ago, which is actually the Roman age, the temperatures have been decreasing in Greenland by two and a half degrees. Then the temperatures increased gradually up to a maximum point around the medieval warm period, we call it a thousand years ago, and then temperatures declined and goes down to a minimum around 1650 AD, comes back up a little in the, in the 18th century, and then around 1875 we have the lowest point in the last 8,000 years, right here, and that matches exactly the time when meteorological observations started. The problem is that we, and I agree completely, that we have had a global temperature increase in the 20th century. Yes. But an increase from what? Probably an increase from the lowest point we've had for the last 10,000 years. And this means that it will be very hard, indeed, to prove whether the increase of temperature in the 20th century was man-made or it's a natural variation. That will be very hard because we made ourselves an extremely poor experiment. We started to observe meteorology at the coldest spot in the last 10,000 years.